Hello, welcome to a new video. <laughs> I just showered, so I'm sorry for this mess. Today I'm going to give you guys some tips of how to run your first ultra marathon. If you don't know what an ultra marathon is, I don't know what you're here, but you're so welcome. Um, an ultra marathon is where you run all the distances over marathon. I'm going to give you guys some pro tips from a pro. I actually just started ultra running two years ago, so I have nothing to say about anything actually but i've had some experience during the years years in plural but it is two years i'm 20 i'm 20 i couldn't race before before i was 18 because it's an extreme sport and you aren't allowed if you don't run back your ultra i'm coming back to that later so if you want some tips on how to run your first ultra or how to like manage the ultra that you have already run a little bit better stay for a chat the first tip i have for you guys is to run slower like slower if you're running run slower just run slower and you will manage much more than you think also take a few breaks one of my best races is a 12 hour race that i did at training i'm crazy <laughs> every hour on that 12 hour race i had five minutes of a break i ran 113 kilometers on that 12 hour race and i ran the last laps really fast and after the race i wasn't even that tired because it was a training session <laughs> i was running another race two weeks after that you know how that race went it went to shit also a little pro side tip don't run three ultra marathons in the span of four weeks <laughs> That's a lot for your body and you will take time to recover. It was my idea though, there is no one to blame, so learn that. Anyway, run slower, that's the tip. Also like walk uphill if you're doing ultra marathons that go uphill. Like it, even if there is a slight hill, you wouldn't even notice it. Walk, walk that hill. Also careful with the downhill, don't like sprint downhill because it takes a lot on your body, even like walk the downhills depends on uh, what your goal is obviously but if you want to manage to make it through the race walk in the hill uphill downhill and then you like kind of jog ish on the flat second tip that i have for you guys is that if you're completely new to ultra running or if you're very new run a backyard ultra backyard ultra is the best concept for beginners backyard ultra is a concept that someone came up with when they were either really drunk or had a little bit too many kilometers in their legs there are a lot of rules around backyard ultra but the simple concept that i can explain to you about google like the rest of the rules because there's a lot of like guys and girls compete in the same competition and you're not allowed to run more than one round more than the winner and you have to run like there is only one winner and there's a lot of rules but the simple concept is that you run 6.7 kilometers every hour and the only thing is that you have to start the next hour which means that you run that 6.7 kilometers and then you rest for the rest of the hour or you can kind of walk but 6.7 kilometers is enough so that you have to run and you can't really walk all the rounds because yeah you it's too it's too much so if you're looking for running your first ultra and managing to run your first ultra enter a backyard ultra if you want to run in sweden and want to meet me this year i would suggest that you run a race the 10th of august i will link something here i will be there am i sweaty yet it's really warm in the car what are you doing yeah, the rug from the shoe. here he is cleaning the carpet mm. what are you doing? i'm recording a video huh? i'm recording a video no. yeah why not it's not warm, so. <laughs> Number three on the list of pro tips from Anna that is to fuel, 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 fuel. You need to get in energy to be able to make the race and train with the stuff that you're going to have on the race because if you start something new, some fancy sports drink on the race without training with it, you're set up for failure. 
train with nutrition don't be afraid of sugar like you need the sugar to be able to do this because it's very unnatural for the body to run that far and therefore you need a lot of sugar which is also really unnatural but if you want to do it you have to like risk some health and stuff it's not healthy i hope you know that it's not healthy to run an ultra tip number four is that you have to know before you go into the race that there will be downs there will be highs and there will be more downs than highs and the downs can be really down but the downs will also they will also like be highs again the downs will pass <laughs> That's the word I was looking for. The downs will pass on an ultra and you really need to just keep going. If you risk injury or if you risk like kidney failure, organ failure, stop. But if you don't, keep going. If it's your head telling you that everything hurts and it's like it's just that everything hurts, it's nothing dangerous, keep going. Get over the down and hopefully there is like a high somewhere. But it might also be just like okay now it's not that bad anymore <laughs> tip number five is to don't put that much pressure on yourself when i started ultra running i put a lot when i started ultra running i put so much pressure on myself to manage to do the goal like i remember when i was 18 i was like i want to run a 200 kilometer 24 hour race that is a lot and when i didn't manage to keep my goal it's a big setback that can make you quit so what you should do is just that you should take the race as it comes and just take the breaks that you need and if you run like six hour races 12 hour races or 24 hour races you can't dnf you will always have a result that you can increase and that's pretty cool with those types of races if you're looking forward to run your first trail ultra race though like all of this is kind of like flat uh, some of them have like a lot to do with other types of trail races and everything you can kind of put that on the same thing if you're looking to run like a trail ultra race though I'm not the right person. I have some trail running experience. I was seventh on the Norwegian Nationals uh, last year and eight people were competing. <laughs> no, but trail running is kind of a different sport, I would say. And you need some other like equipment and stuff and more stuff and even more stuff. So I think I would take that in another video if I ever get good at trail running. Thank you so much for watching this five pro tips from pro ultra runner. That is pr very pro. That's been a very pro during the game. Thank you so much for watching this five tips to start your ultra running career and hopefully get as good as me. I'm joking, I'm not an asshole, I promise. <laughs>